Hi friends, if you are looking to use Arbitrum on Metamask and want to know everything about Arbitrum on Metamask, you have come to the right place. Today we are going to learn how to add Arbitrum to Metamask, how to receive Arbitrum tokens, how to move tokens from another chain to Arbitrum, how to swap tokens within, within Arbitrum, how to get USDC on your Arbitrum 1 chain. All of this will be covered today. First up, I hope you have your MetaMask configured and set up and ready right here. If you do not have a MetaMask installation, don't worry. At the end of this video, I'll give you an easy way to do that as well, how to get started with MetaMask. So basically, once we are inside MetaMask and have our account set up in a way, what we need to do is we need to add the Arbitrum chain. So if you see this option on the top, you'll see it on both the mobile app as well as the extension. The tutorial remains the same for both. Click on this and go to add network. Once you are here, you will see Arbitrum 1 as an option. You can click add. Just verify that your network name is Arbitrum 1. Metamask uses Infura as the network URL. Uh, other wallets may use a different URL. This is fine. Verify your chain ID and your currency symbol. The currency symbol is ETH for Arbitrum because Arbitrum is basically, if you look at they call themselves the future of Ethereum and the gas fees in on this network is paid in Ethereum. So you need to always have some ETH balance when you are on Arbitrum. So I'm going to approve this. I have an option to switch to Arbitrum 1. I'm going to do that immediately. And you will see by default, ETH is the token. The network token will get to that as well. The Arbitrum token will get to that. But for now, we need some ETH token in our wallet to proceed. Now, there are two ways of getting ETH on Arbitrum 1. First, you can receive it. If you want to receive ETH, this is the address on Arbitrum. So I'm going to copy this and paste this over here. So this is the address that you see on the top. It's case sensitive. So generally, um, I always copy paste or send a QR code to someone to send funds to this. You need to take this address, paste it on your Binance or Coinbase or any exchange from where you are withdrawing funds on the Arbitrum one network just be sure you select arbitrum one as your network when withdrawing funds or if you're asking someone to send you funds make sure you tell them that the eth has to be sent to arbitrum one if they send it on the ethereum mainnet uh, you will not lose your funds but the gas fees are gonna be astronomical you are not gonna enjoy that one bet believe me so um that's one way of getting arbitrum one eth on your arbitrum one uh, the other option is if, say, you have funds on the Ethereum mainnet, for example, or if you have it on any other chain within the same wallet or on any other wallet, it doesn't matter, but if it's within the same wallet, uh, there's a simple bridge option right here, uh, which you see on MetaMask. So if I go to MetaMask and I open a wallet, you see this bridge button right here shows up. I'm going to click bridge. And what bridging does is it moves funds from one network or one chain to another chain. And it's really safe if you are doing it within, say, the ERC20 uh, universe, which is Ethereum universe. So I'm going to select, I have a lot of funds on Optimism chain. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select my receiving end as Arbitrum. Which token do I want to send? Of course, I want to start with ETH. So I'm going to say, I'm going to take, say, half of the ETH that I have and move it here. And what token do I want on the other end? Again, I want ETH. So I'm going to select Ether again. So from Optimism, I'm taking my ETH balance worth $133 and I'm moving it to Arbitrum and moving it to ETH again on Arbitrum. But the fees involved for this process is now being computed by MetaMask. You can see within the same margin, just losing a little under $2 over here for uh, this entire exercise. Uh, this says $4 as the cost i'm okay with that uh, it's a really small fee for uh, doing a bridging transaction believe me and uh, some of this fees is not linear as well so if the amount was say 10 times more the fees will not necessarily be 10 times more though there is a metamask fee of 0.875 percent which is included here you can see the lefi bridge is being used if you directly go on lefi and do this transaction you will save this 0.875 percent or I can give you a link to obvious wallet in description, which uh, for, from what I know does not charge this fee as of now, but it's a small amount and I'm not gonna care about it. I'm gonna click confirm. 
I'm gonna say use MetaMask. I seem to have Phantom here as well. So I'm just gonna stick with MetaMask. And I can just verify the transactions here. I'm debiting 133 uh, Optimism. Okay, I eat from my Optimism chain. I'm gonna just say confirm everything looks on track. And now we are sort of bridging. So I'm gonna just open this transaction and wait for this transaction to go through. Um, you can see there is a live status here and it says one minute remaining, which is not a lot. Okay, this says this bridging has been complete. I'll go back to my wallet. I'll come down and look at my Arbitrum 1 chain, go to tokens and you can see $131 of balance is available right here. Now, what if I want ARB or USDC as a token over here? Sure, I can get it. It is not that difficult. So what we are going to do is one way to do that is just go to CoinGecko. Uh, that's my go-to place to get uh, token contract addresses. I'm going to click on USDC and I'm going to select from the drop-down Arbitrum 1 and copy the contract address. I'm going to come back to MetaMask. I'm going to say import tokens. I'm going to paste the contract address here. It automatically loads the symbol and I'm going to click next. And this token is imported. Similarly, there is the Arbitrum token itself, which is known by the symbol ARB ARB. Okay, over here, I'll click on the contracts and you will see that there is Arbitrum Nova here and Ethereum here, but Arbitrum 1 is right at the top, which is the one I need to copy. I'm going to import token here, paste the contract, ARB shows up, I'm going to click next and I'm going to import. So you can see I have all these three tokens over here. Now, if I just want some USDC balance, again, I can receive USDC on the same address or ARB on the same address, or I will simply swap some of my Ethereum to get ARB over here. So I'll say I give take away most of my Ethereum. I'll keep some for gas fees, but I don't need a lot. And I'm going to select USDC and MetaMask will give me the swap conversion, which you can see the fees are minimal for this. I'm going to just go ahead and say swap and I can say view in activity to get a sense of how it's going. And you can see immediately within the Arbitrum ecosystem, I now have USDC as well. I can also do USDC to ARB as a swap. And I can say transfer all of my USDC to ARB. Friends, I'm burning gas fees live over here for you to show you this tutorial. So I hope you can like this video. So I'm going to click swap over here for to get myself some ARB tokens as well. So now you can see I have my Arbitrum network on um, MetaMask with Ethereum balance, with USDC balance, which will soon become ARB balance right here. I can just refresh the list and you can see now I have ARB balance over here. Now that's how you use Arbitrum 1, but if you do not have MetaMask itself, don't worry. Here is a tutorial for you that you can use and set up your MetaMask wallet today.